Hello everyone. Hope everybody's doing okay. And uh thought I would uh maybe pop in another video or two before the end of the new year. And uh um there's a couple of things I'd like to talk about here. Um brick is one of them. Um I don't know what the U.S. is going to do when all these countries start paying for goods and gold. Because the rumors on the street is that nobody in North America really has any gold. And if you don't have any gold, you can't buy oil. You can't buy gas. You can't buy electronics. You can't buy, you can't buy anything that comes from any of these four or five countries and there's more being added by the day so eventually North America is going to become a third world country at least a second world country anyways that's a for sure thing a for sure thing the money's going to crash the US is going to fall as soon as this BRICS is put in and all the countries start paying with gold, that's it. They're not going to accept anything but gold. The American currency, any currency, isn't going to be any good to buy with. It's going to be gold, silver, precious, any other type of precious metal. And that's how things will be paid for in the near future I give it a year so it says here this was written back in May it says Brazil Russia India and China form brick uh, definition in investing what is Brazil Russia India and China brick is a, an an acronym for the developing nations of Brazil, Russia, India, and China that are countries th that some believe will be the dominant suppliers of the manufacturing goods, services, and raw materials by 2050. I say way before 2050. It's definitely going to be on my lifetime. Definitely going to be on my lifetime. I give it less than 20 years less than 20 years it'll be a hundred percent and as soon as this war is over between Russia and the United States you're gonna start seeing implements they're not gonna buy they're not gonna let the US buy oil if they do let them buy oil again uh, in American money it's gonna be in rubles or it's gonna be in nothing and that's how every country's gonna have to buy oil from Russia or India or wherever it is that they're buying oil so as China and India will become the world's dominant supplier for manufactured goods and services Brazil and Russia will become similarly dominant as suppliers for raw materials they're pretty much already that now Right, we're going to run out of wood. We're going to run out of steel. We may be stockpiled now, but if this war goes on for two, three, four, five, six years, we will run out of stuff. Guaranteed, we will run out of raw materials for everything. Where do you think our, 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 our material comes from to make toilet paper and... Kleenexes and things like that. It comes from Russia. The paste that makes it comes from Russia. We import it. Just think of that. It says in, in 2010, South Africa joined the group and it became known as BRICS. And good, good for South Africa. Uh, for joining that because it's going to be the only thing that's going to pull them out because the U.S. is pushing South Africa and North Africa to the ground. 
they're the reason why they are where they are is because of the U.S. Same with over in India and Pakistan and Iraq and all that. That's all caused by the U.S. How about paying some art reparations and not with the taxpayers' money either? It says brick is an acronym that was coined by Goldman Sachs economist Jim O'Neill for the economic block of developing countries, Brazil, Russia, India, and China. We already knew that. We already know that. The dominance would be driven by their low labor and production costs. Critics, critics argue that the nation's raw materials were limited, or limitless and growth model ignored the finite nature of fossil fuels, uranium, and other critical heavily used resources. What people don't realize, if you were to go look up what oil makes, you would be sitting there and be reading for at least an hour just to read everything that oil has their hand in for making things. Oil. Whoops, I just changed that. Oil. Oil. My fan. Oil. My plastic thing. Uh, drink. Oil. TV remote. Oil, wires, oil, tape measure, oil, everything has oil, cell phones, oil, battery pack, oil, there's some type of oil in it one way or another, so we need oil. But the good thing is, is we're learning that oil wells are starting to refill themselves. So we can start calling oil um, a, re, um, a renewable energy. Sorry, I, I didn't have that page shown when I was reading to you, but this was the page that I was reading from. Here, we'll, we'll read a little more. It says, critics argue that the nation's raw materials were limited, are limitless, and growth models ignored uh, in the fight night future of fossil fuels, uranium, and the critical heavy use resources. We already, I already read that. Um, it says the acronym, which, oh, the acronym, which, changed to BRICS in 2010 was South Africa joining the BRIC group. Understanding the BRIC in the 1990s, the countries that would become known as BRIC accounted for 11% of the global gross domestic products. By 2014, this foreign had risen to nearly 30%. The figures reflect a high high in 2010 that followed the plunge in the value related to the 2008 financial crisis. Yep, exactly. And it's going to happen again in 2023 and 2024. South Africa was invited to join BRIC, which then become known as BRICS. I think this is a good thing. Back in the day, I'm almost sure of it. If you didn't have gold or silver, you weren't buying anything. And that's the way things need to go back. Because you can't just print it. Like Biden's doing. Just printing money. Trudeau, same thing. Just printing money. Why do you think they don't give cars away when they have too many? Because then nobody will buy a car for $40,000 when you're just giving them away three years down the road people just wait the three years and pick one up while you give it away it wouldn't be worth anything that's why our money's not worth anything there's too much of it and not enough product being sold so that makes our money go 
down the drain. So uh, I have a little clip here. Um, it's uh, I'm not sure how to say that. One, one. Um, this is a good channel. I get a lot of my information from this uh, channel. It's in English. They do have it in other channel, in other languages. Uh, if you'd like, uh, take a look, watch, like, join. Um, I will put the link to this video and the last, um, the last article. I will put in a link in the bio for it. But let's take a listen to this. A battle to win new allies, only that it is failing miserably at this. Forget new allies, even old friends of the West are ditching it, like Saudi Arabia. First, it refused to ramp up oil production for the European Union, and now it wants to be a part of BRICS, a block of five major emerging economies in and that will make them even richer, the Saudis, by joining BRICS. Um, it, it goes back to if they keep putting oil out there at $75 a barrel, the, the oil will never go up in price. It's going to go up in price. Everything goes up in price inflations, right? That's what we're told. So the oil's going to do the same thing. So, like, they need to think about that, right? Anyways, let's uh, watch some more of this. Including China and Russia. The president of South Africa says Riyadh is interested in joining this bloc. Why? Our next report telling you. This is Cyril Ramaphosa, the president of South Africa. On Sunday, he visited the kingdom of Saudi Arabia and made a stunning revelation. Ramaphosa said that Riyadh wants to join BRICS, a block of five major emerging economies, Brazil, Russia. And that's why the U.S. is throwing a tantrum tantrum right now, because... Um, the Saudis won't do what they're asking them or telling them to do. And that's what happens when you don't go with their narrative. You're canceled. So Saudi Arabia is canceled now. So there goes more oil. Unless they're going to steal it, just like they're stealing it from Pakistan and, and Iraq. Wants to join BRICS, a block of five major emerging economies. Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. Saudi Arabia wants to be its sixth member. At least that's what Ramaphosa claims. Here's what he said during the visit. The Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman did express Saudi Arabia's desire to be part of BRICS. That's not all. The South African president says Saudi Arabia is not the only country. A couple of others are keen on joining as well. Watch this. They have a great desire and uh, they are not the only country that is finding the BRICS family or uh, formation attractive because of what BRICS stands for. And so we did say to them, the BRICS uh, nations are going to be meeting in a summit next year under the chairship of South Africa, uh, in South Africa. And the matter is going to be under consideration. And already a number of countries or nations have been making approaches to each of the BRICS members. And we've given them the same answer that it will be discussed by the BRICS. Uh, so yeah. You're almost going to guarantee that they will 
um, go up and pick more and and pick and, and say yes to um, I forget the freaking um, I forget the name now I'm thrown off by the name um, I'm looking for this one article that I did have um, but I don't see it um, all right here this is from Silk Road Briefing I don't I um, never read articles from them so I don't really know too much about them um, it says the new candidate countries for BRICS expansion. So that must mean there's going to be more people um, going to be coming in, obviously. It says if accepted, the new proposal of BRICS members would create an entity with a GDP of 30% larger than the United States, over 50% of the global population, and the control of 60% of the global gas reserves. Yep, there you go, Biden. Stick it to that Putin, right? Uh, stick it to Putin uh, all the way to that last Ukraine. Um, it says the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has stated that over a dozen countries have formally applied to join the BRICS grouping following the group's decision to allow new members early this year. BRICS, the current includes Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Those will be the original five. I believe it's five. So, North America screwed. North America is screwed. What are we going to do? What, what, what are they going to do? They can't print themselves out of, you know, print themselves out. If nobody's taking our currency... It doesn't matter how much money they print. Because they're not going to take it. And you can't print gold. And here they are selling our, our gold wells off to China and whoever else is out there and not giving the citizens a dime or anything of our gold being pulled out of our country's ground. And we the people get nothing for it. No stock in it, no, you know, no, no reparations, couple hundred dollars a month, even, you know, I don't know how much they're pulling out of the ground, but I'm sure it's millions or they wouldn't be doing it. That's for sure. That is for sure. Anyways, um, that's the end of that rant of bricks and how... North America is in a lot of trouble and I think I might put some um, there's a couple people I watch the one is Alaskan preparation I think Alaskan Alaskan prepper um, he's a really nice guy teaches you how to uh, can stuff put meat in into jars and save it you know last up to 25 years beans rice whatever um i'll put a link in in in, in the description and if you want to go check them out check them out because uh i'm not trying to create a frenzies but it, um unless any something changes I think we're going to be in a lot of trouble in the next 10 years. Anyways, you guys have a good night, and we'll see you in the next one.